Hey guys, Ty Hurd here. Uh, today we're going to go over how to patch your Nadir, the, the tripod, the hole in the bottom of your pano, uh, in Thesis. So I had somebody ask me about this earlier today. They said, could you do something? And I said, yes, it is so easy. You have no clue. It's literally so easy. This video is going to be three minutes long. So I'm assuming that you already know how to pull your panos into Thesis and, and get them in and all that. You just want to know how to patch the Nadir at the bottom across all of your panos like that. So here we go. So into the screenshot. So now we've got a pano right here. Uh, typically I shoot uh, like panos that I'm going to be editing in Thesis are D or DSLR and I will either shoot or edit the Nadir in Photoshop so it'll look like the camera is floating. But here I've created a tour with a Theta V and so you can see there is the Nadir, the, uh, the tripod, and this isn't really worth it to me to edit it out. So this would be something that I might use a Nadir logo. Um, now, first thing that you're gonna wanna do is, let's bring it up here. So this is where you're gonna start, right, info. Go to the hotspot properties on the right. Click the plus, and it should just default you right here to custom images, okay? Um, but if not, go over, click custom images. Then you're going to click the plus icon that will allow you to upload. Click on the upload and go to wherever your graphic may be. I don't really ever post tours to clients websites with an Adir graphic. Um, I never use an Adir graphic, but I've created a few just out of curiosity. So here's one I've got. We're going to upload it. Tip, it needs to be 500 kilobytes or smaller to upload to Thesis. So make sure that you keep that file size small. Um, so now, on the right hand side, you'll see that we've got the Nadir's and I've actually uploaded it before. But let's go ahead and click on it, drag it over. You can put it anywhere in the image, it doesn't matter. And now we are going to right click on it and we are going to set as Nadir. Bam, there it goes. Now, we're gonna need to go over here and actually expand um, the menu for that particular hotspot. There's two in here. We've got the arrow and we've got uh, this Nadir logo. And you could create a link to an external URL. Maybe you wanna do it to your website or whatever, or any of their other actions. Uh, you could add a tooltip if you do include an action, but we're not going to do that right now. But what we do need to do is we need to change uh, the way this is facing. Okay, that looks about good. And then we need to go down, so that's your Z axis, rotates it, go down to scale, scale this up just a tiny bit, bam, there you go, done. It is now the Nadir. Now let's say that we want to just <laughs> duplicate this across all of the panos uh, in our tour. Right click it again, set as Nadir to all panoramas. Um, yep, it'll overwrite, that's fine. Yes, action successful. There you go, so that's it. Tutorial done. We have got our Nadir here. Boom, let's click on the next pano down here. And oh, look at that, there it is there. We can cl keep clicking over. Now I didn't complete this tour, I just uploaded these images just for this. Um, oh, now this one, it's, it's looking uh, a little bit, oh no, I guess it's right, because this is the way we would be facing. I just didn't set my default uh, view to be facing forward. So yep, it's all right. You double, go through, double check. If you need to rotate them, you can uh, click on it and then go hit the plus, bring it back up and you can customize it. So maybe you're like, eh, I need to rotate it a little, whatever, and fix it on per panel basis. Maybe you're kind of going around the corner and the panel changes a bit. That's it. If you guys have any questions about this, ask in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, please, that really helps. Thanks guys, I'll see you later.